All right, I think I might have figured something out. Ah, these fish are strong. There's the first smallmouth that's worth even keeping. And uh, as I'm setting the camera up, I pull up and she bit. He bit. I uh, found some pea gravel. I've missed like three fish throwing a zoom super fluke. And man, I mean, they're in like two feet of water. Um, I think it's because of the pea gravel. But, you know, not bad for catching nothing but a bunch of peanuts. So, a lot shallower than I thought. Maybe they're in a spawn. That one there, I just let it sit on the bottom. Yeah, I've missed like two or three, and then I, um, I switched over about five different flukes. Finally got this one. And another thing too, I was throwing a really heavy hook. For largemouth, you can do that, um, but I think for these smallies, they need kind of a sharper, smaller hook, so it penetrates their mouth a little bit better. So, I mean, I don't know, I'm, I'm learning as I go. Just th I came back here just throwing this fluke. And um, I got the most hits out of anywhere. Decent hits, too. And I think it's because of all this little pea gravel we got right here. So, what that kind of tells me is that these fish here are spawning or something. I mean, Shallow, they're really shallow. Yeah, I kept coming back here because uh, last few days over in that section, I would always see good sized smallmouth. I was trying to figure out why they were there. Not a giant, not a big one. Man, these things are small and strong. But even that one there is better than I've been catching all day today or yesterday. You know, I fished this area the first day with the drop shot, but I was fishing out here in seven foot of water. I didn't think that I didn't think that them things would be two foot of water. Now this gives me a lot of ideas because now I about ran this whole way. Get off of there. So I kind of know where more pea gravel is. So I'm pretty sure that's what this is. 
What do you want out of here? I just didn't think they were going to be in two foot of water. Definitely bad because he just hit it again. Not one to eat it. Gosh. Three times. Should probably eventually switch this thing over to a spinner rod, maybe a little bit lighter line. Maybe I'll get more bite. Bad one. Not a bad one. There. Twelve inches. Nice top waters. This is just nipping at it. been catching. Better not have been catching. Well, not here. Over there. Deep stuff. 
cast is that? off between the uh, fluke and the Kelly J. They seem to be reacting to the once I find them. Never thought a top water would be a chase bait. My chase bait. I'm throwing my I'm throwing a chase bait. I'm chasing it with a top water. So It's gotten flat calm though right now. Fish aren't reacting as well to, uh, to either one of them. Try to hook up this trailer. I don't know what this is. This is a bass or trout. trout. Messing my messing my rig all up. Buddy, I don't got very many of them flukes. You can see this though. I know it's a trout, but you got my, uh, you can see the hook sticking out. You got my, my trailer hook. See what I'm rigging right now is you got your fluke. They're short striking it, so I'll put a treble hook back there. This seems to be getting them to the boat better. Your wheelless capabilities are gone, but throwing out here in open water. What's crazy about this is that I can go up to the sh to the bank and you can't see these fish. But then you pull off, you start casting to the bank. Start getting bit. So it's not like largemouth where you can just go up there and oh look, there's one. I mean I've seen I saw a couple up shallow, but I mean I got bit a bunch going down there and I think I saw two fish. Well, they've probably seen me before I even get up there. But 